here are a little over 30 exclusive um, club G.I. Joe modern figures that you can only get through various means and that has caused them to be extremely rare and valuable. The first one is the G.I. Joe subscription uh, service Calvin Jammer action figure which sold for $89.99. He's a very cool action figure with the green camo. The next one is G.I. Joe Collectors Club exclusive Dojo action figure. He is an awesome ninja figure uh, type of fellow. It sold for $89.99. And I like his blue socks. He looks like he's really going to kick somebody in the face with those. The next one is the uh, a pair, which uh, is the Mars Mercenary and the Black Spider Rendezvous. Uh, a couple of uh, Adventure Team uh, figures for the Adventure Team line. And of course they sold together for $96.99. The next one is the G.I. Joe Collector's G.I. Jane action figure, which sold for $99.99. She's a Collector Club exclusive as well. This next figure is the G.I. Joe exclusive Recoil, uh, which sold for $99.99. Once again, a G.I. Joe Club exclusive. An excellent looking action figure. I'd really enjoy having this one. I really like the green camo effect. Next figure sold for $100, $99.99. Her name is Verona. This is the uncarded version. The carded version probably would actually be worth quite a bit more. I believe she's also a club exclusive. Next figure is Captain Skip. Sold for $119.99. He, of course, is a G.I. Joe Club exclusive. Special Action Officer. I suspect he's uh, SAS, uh, British Special Forces. Another one with an excellent green camo. I like the realism on him. Next we have Bomb Strike. She's a badass chick. Kind of looks like Meg Ryan a little bit. Uh, G.I. Joe exclusive club and uh, she has um, Hawk's uh, kid, uh, briefcase with the gun that goes in it with a brown color to it instead of his gray case which sold for $124.98 next we have the G.I. Joe exclusive club sneak peek for $139.99 he looks a lot like the original um, Sneak Peek did back in the 80s, except that he has the modern format. Next we've got the Joe Con Fire Snake. Um, he's similar to a vintage figure, uh, which was the Frag Viper, I believe. Sold for $179.99. Next we have the G.I. Joe Night Force. Modern Night Force, of course. Joe Con Hit and Run, uh, which sold for $199.99. Comes with a lot of really cool accoutrement uh, accessories. A uh, little bag that appears to be something I've never seen before. And uh, some cool little pieces. We also have the G.I. Joe Nightfire Joe Con Char Royal, which sold for $199.99. He's got a blue motif to him, which is very nice. Also that we've got uh, Zarana. Uh, I can't remember, but I believe she was related to Zartan in some way. Was she his like girlfriend or sister or something? She's from the 2011 G.I. Joe Con. Uh, sold for $198.97. I like the black outfit. That's really cool. Zarana the Enemy. After that, we've got uh, the G.I. Joe Night Force, Joe Con, uh, Spearhead, and his Warthog. Oh yeah, originally, oh, I think it's actually a little Bobcat. He came with a Bobcat. I think that's what that is. He sold for $199.99, which is a good deal. I don't think that his coloring is very realistic, though. I don't think camo, good camo would include bright green. 
but that's okay. It's just a figure. After that, we've got another Zarana action figure. She's from the 2011 Comic Con, Joe Con, I suspect. Uh, sold for $219.99. And in her, her traditional garb, her pink outfit. We've got the, this one, is one of my favorites because of his uh, ski mask. This is the Dreadnought Chaos, which sold for $219.98. I really like his mask. I don't know if that mask is uh, comes off or if it's just his part of his head or what, but I think they should have more figures that use his mask. Sold for a good amount, two nineteen ninety eight. After that, we've got another adventure team figure. Uh, this one's the uh, Sea Adventurer. Sold for two nineteen ninety nine. Obviously, based off of the old nineteen uh, sixties twelve inch uh, doll like action figures. Although they weren't dolls, they were action figures. Uh, they came out with this line of the adventure team again in the uh, 2000s. We also have Footloose. Uh, this is an exclusive G.I. Joe comic exclusive. G.I. Joe club excuse, exclusive, excuse me. But he looks very similar to me to the 25th action figure. Uh, he has, I think this is like 1990s or 1980s Marine Corps garb that he's got wearing. $223.97 for him. This is the G.I. Joe uh, exclusive club uh, Frostbite, sold for $225. Uh, looks fairly similar to a lot of the snow figures, but I like the way it looks. Next we have Law and Order, which was the G.I. Joe Club exclusive as well, uh, $235. Uh, Law and Order, I believe Law is the guy and Order is the dog, if I'm not mistaken. He's wearing his traditional garb from back in the day, uh, the vintage 80s form, and also I believe there was a more recent uh, like 25th anniversary figure that wasn't exclusive of him. This is the G.I. Joe Club exclusive Big Boa. He sold for $2.45. And yeah, he's very similar to the old version as well. Next, this is the G.I. Joe Con uh, Nightfire Crimson Snake. Um, she sold for $250. She's very cool looking. Um, I don't think she was a part of Cobra Law. She may have been related to uh, Destro in some way, since she's a, a crimson snake. But I'm not sure how that worked exactly. Looks like she's a saboteur. I don't know much about the uh, mythology behind these action figures, unfortunately. Here's another Adventure Team action figure. This is the Adventure Team Commander, from based on the old uh, 1960s figures. Uh, sold for 275, so that's not too shabby. Very cool. I like his outfit too. He looks like he's like a backwoods hunter or something like that. Next we have the emissary python. She is part of Cobra Law, and uh, she's a GI Joe Com exclu uh, club exclusive, and um, she comes with a little uh, alien-looking creature. Uh, yeah, these aren't the ones that you normally find in the store. This one I thought is very interesting. This is the Unmasked Snake Eyes from back in the uh, comic book. And uh, um, he used to be a white guy uh, with a messed up face. And um, I thought it was cool that they made him into an action figure. And actually made him in the old format of action figures rather than the new. So he's got like the uh, old body, the shorter body with the more shiny plastic. And he sold for $285. This is the Air Adventure Action Team figure. He's going to be parachuting out of the sky. Um, he's very cool. He sold for $229.99. This is Dr. Venom. He's, um, 
I don't actually know too much about him. He's from the 2010 Collectors Club. Uh, sold for 300. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the one that became Cobra Commander or if he is somewhere somehow related to him. Somebody can put in the notes uh, in the chat if they like what who he is if they know. Next we have the G.I. Joe Team 2010 Collectors Club Land Adventurer. He sold for $312.50. And he's another one of the action team. This is both Tomox and Zaymot, uh, part of the Collectors Club exclusive. Uh, together they sold for $325. And they come with a lot of cool little items. And uh, Zaymot, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, has a scar, which Tomac, uh, Tomax felt. I remember that from back in the day. Next, we have the uh, Crimson Guard Immortal, which is a cool figure in the Crimson Guard motif. If I remember correctly, they were um, Destro's protectors. But please make a note if I'm wrong about that. Uh, they're from the G.I. Joe Club exclusive. This one sold for $399.99. Sold for quite a lot. Must be a very rare action figure. And the most valuable of these uh, sold for somewhat below, but probably close to $599.95. 2007 G.I. Joe Destro Pimp Daddy. I remember he was the most valuable of the vintage G.I. Joes as well. Uh, so even the newer one is worth quite a lot as, as well. 2007 convention exclusive. I've been to a couple of uh, G.I. Joe cons. Um, I believe I saw the guy that was selling some of the uh, convention exclusive figures. But I think I remember them being very expensive, so I wasn't able to buy any. But obviously they appreciate, so they usually do go up in value even. So you can buy them there and keep them in your collection or sell them if you like. Anyway, this guy's very cool. I like the Pip Daddy motif. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.